Hello, this is the Passion. Uh, this is the Passion, John 14, part 15. Now, part 15 is a follow on from especially part 11. I'd go back to part 11 if I were you uh, to get all this in context. But I'd go to part 1 if I were you and not even listen to this and go back to part 1 and listen for an hour and a half, hour and 50 minutes. Uh, to listen to the whole lot of this, to get this into context so you can understand it. Uh, from part 10, uh, Jesus and the Father have been speaking. Right now it's the Father speaking and, uh, and Matthew's just not allowed to preach because we've taken over his mouth. Uh, verse 15 says, If you love me, that is Jesus, keep my commandments. Now, first of all, let me tell you there's over a hundred commandments of Jesus Christ in the Gospels. There's a hundred things he told his disciples they must do and they must not do if they want to follow Jesus. Now, Jesus' commandments are not love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbour as yourself. They are a summary of his commandments. Merely knowing those commandments won't have you obeying all the other commandments. All the other commandments are encapsulated in those two but uh, it's just like um, the steps to make a McDonald's burger. You know that you've got to put the meat patty down and turn the meat patty and get the meat patty off at a certain time. And I could say, just cook the meat patty. Just cook the meat patty and serve it onto the bun. That's a summary of what needs to be done. But there's 20 steps that need to be done to cook a meat patty for McDonald's. If you don't know the steps, you won't cook it right going the extra mile for your neighbour, your neighbour asking whether you can help them move into the new house, going the extra mile is saying, can I come around and help you pack, and can I spend a few days helping you unpack, plus move your house. Uh, that's loving your neighbour, sure, but going the extra mile is going the extra mile. When you know about going the extra mile, you bless your neighbour more. Uh, give to everybody who asks of you is another commandment and don't uh, withhold your money from those who want to borrow in other words if you're walking down the street and someone says give us two dollars you to give them two dollars now there's thousands of rejections right now with religious spirits from uh, religion uh, going to come back at Matthew it's not coming back at Matthew it's coming back at me as the father I say give you've got all your excuses in the world they don't wash with me. In fact, I send my angels down to pretend to be homeless people and you walk past and reject them. You'll be judged one day for that. So if you love me, Jesus says, keep my commandments. Conversely, if you don't love him, you won't keep his commandments. Uh, if anyone loves me, verse 23 goes, if anyone loves me, he'll keep my word and my father will love him and we'll come and make our home with him. Gee, I've come and made my home with Matthew. I'm speaking with Matthew. Through Matthew, I've made my home. Scripturally, we're allowed to do this. He, who, Verse 24, He who does not love me does not keep my words. And a word which you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. So the Father's speaking today, and this is the point. If you love Jesus, you'll obey his word and his commandments. If you don't love Jesus, you won't obey his commandments. You won't obey his words. And his words are what the Father said to say, what I said to say. So you're disobeying me and my son. You're disobeying the Old Testament and the New Testament if you don't obey the commandments of Jesus. If you say that you don't need works to have faith, well, you're a fool. Your faith is dead, James says. Faith without works is dead. So, let me be frank with you. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. If you love me, you will obey my son's commandments. If you love Jesus, keep my commandments, he says. It's as plain as that. I don't have to spend ten minutes on that. You need to seek out what are Jesus' commandments. You will need to go through the Gospels and find out everything he said and start to do it. That's what you need to do. I'm not going to go and do it. Matthew's got uh, an article on Easy Articles, um, The Commandments of Jesus. You can find them and uh, start to walk in them. 
He's only got 50 there, there's over 100 now. He hasn't got the list of 100. He might be best with the 50. Is there anything for me else for me to say? I've told you so many times to obey my son. You refuse to obey my son. Now I'm saying you need to or you won't be coming to heaven. The choice is yours. Say that Matthew's a lunatic and it's not God speaking. Say God can't say that so it's not God speaking. Or accept that it is me speaking and start to obey my son. It's that simple. See you in the next teaching.